What's going down, AMD family? Today, we're going to be supercharged with performance. The Fidelity FX Super Resolution is built within the 21.6.1. June's update that AMD is rolling across that's going to be giving us almost triple, if not double, the frame rate within seven titles that you'll be able to play as far as today and 13 titles in the near future. We'll be looking at the patch notes, the benchmarks, and we're gonna slam out some gaming news for as far as what has changed in the Adrenaline software. So if you're new to the network, slam the subscription bell. For returning community members, what's up? And hit that like button. Let's go ahead and slam into the gaming news. I'm gonna have a few different articles listed down below. One highlighted directly here from the WCCF Tech, and they definitely orchestrated where we can see that the titles that you're gonna be accessing from as far as June, as well as where we can see in the near future where the other 12 and beyond they can go into it. For as far as the fidelity issues, they continue, but I definitely liked where you scrolled all the way down past the known issues, and we actually see the native resolutions of where we can actually be accessing these. But a lot of these are going to be accessed directly with inside of the game. So it is a developer giving and a free to use software that is finally having harmony inside of these situations of today. But here are some stats and you can see where we're gonna see some great differences in quality and pixels. Now, they do boast that NVIDIA also will be able to utilize this as long as they have all the fun stuff directly installed and you can have the AMD software directly installed and just have it in the background. It works great, but this is, again, developer, third party, taking it, developing it, using it, and giving it back to the other people as just, well, an option inside of their settings isn't that really freaking cool absolutely who doesn't want two times the native 4k resolution with four quality settings inside of the situation of you know 10 gaming studios working with 100 gpus and cpus that apus it's freaking awesome i mean i'm pretty sure jensen's putting on a leather jacket going like well you know what we're gonna fire back with some free lss how you like that you know, digital apples. But we have cleared the introduction of what the Fidelity FX is going to be looking at. And again, these links will be down below, but there's also supported ad for the 6800M graphics card on top of the Dungeons and Dragons Dark Allies. The fixed issues that come across for the pre-sync and the intermittent been locked while on the desktop after performing task switching between the extended and primary display upon closing a game, causing poor performance or stuttering. Majority of workarounds would utilize is reset and or sometimes you can use the cache button instead of the graphics setting from the very bottom. It's pretty cool. Moving on towards the end, no, 800 may crash upon launching this game when in DirectX 12. The AMD cleanup utility may clean up the chipset and the RAID installer uh, related folders in the registry from the system, which is not funny. That, that, that would be like a horrible situation, but I'm glad that they fixed that because someone was probably having a bad day and now hopefully they are not. Moving on past that conundrum, you can see that Radeon graphics products may experience lower than expected performance inside of Destiny 2 when compared to previous Radeon softwares. <laughs> Means you need to roll back with the DDU and you should be smooth if you are just playing a lot of Destiny and not digging it. And you can see that at the very end of this video, you have a link that you can click that will help you with that if you are a first time person with getting into DDUs. Upon joining the AMD user in the experience program, the AMD user experience may have the master service, may experience a higher than expected CPU utilization, which is very interesting, like that they're utilizing these in tandem because I always used to not use the master program that they had because it was really bad. It would always freeze and do all this weird shit. And I was like, yeah, I'm cool. I will just overclock my stuff from the BIOS and I'm fine. And I really recommend everyone just, you know, taking that step and learning how to do it. Overclocking inside the BIOS is way more friendly. 
but I do understand that they, you know the mastery program that they have does serve a purpose for just toying with it a little bit in a safe platform kind of without crashing here and there anyways moving on the enabling ray tracing while running the ring of the asylum on DirectX 12 when may crash a lot but not as much apparently I hope we'll see next week but the known issues do spread across for as far as the titles on Resident Evil Village that have some TDR and the Radeon 7 card in the first mission because it's pretty crazy uh, they enabled sync inside of the black screen that occurs inside of games in the configuration and some enhancements for as far as the disabled temporary workaround is the one the option you can't utilize connecting the two displays with the large differences inside of the resolutions and the refreshes rates may cause flickering on the radeon rx vega series graphics card product on the oculus servers and errors may received on the radeon 5000 6000 series products which prevents the oculus link setup from the software running the radeon performance inside of the metrics logging features in the intermediate reports an extremely higher incorrect memory voltage and the value is just not matching for as far as the situation we can see for the recent mastery not detecting inside of the adrenaline software after installation and restoration is restored after re reset looking at the blue and or black screens inside of the mobile platform systems they temporarily disable on the enhanced sign-in will helpfully help you for as far as the mismatch errors that may occur inside of the versions of the radeon software windows store and amd support versions are installed on your system as a temporary workaround the launch the windows store version of radeon software so I didn't know you could do that, but I've always utilized directly AMD and or the inner UI software of AMD, which you have through the adrenaline software. So I didn't know you can just do that like the, I guess NVIDIA way around it, but that also means that if they're utilizing that source, that's like something that's very monitored and that in general has like drawbacks on FPS. But when you're getting the fidelity bump, I guess you can lose a few and not really care anymore. But moving on past the enthusiast that's probably saying, well, I do, but let's look at the situation and the investigating the D3 error inside of the situation of the motherboard after updating the last Radeon software. They're very well aware of this situation. On top of the situation that lowers the experience and the performance inside of the Athlon mobile. So you can also see that there are some window link issues that are known inside of the intermittent gray frame corruptions that may be observed when streaming inside of the Hevic or as far as on the configurations via the internet connections and the workaround in the ABC encoding instead it works out pretty well now there will be a link down below where you can directly download this today but let's go ahead and slide over and look at some benchmarks so i thought this was a great one to start off the benchmarks because they're literally identical if you look at the graphics score it was just like one of those things where you're like wait did anything change but yeah, there, there was a lot of things that changed when you look at the CPU that, you know, gained one because the one on the right is the brand new one and the one on the left is the old school 2, 1.5.2, which really isn't that old. I mean, that's just like last month, but I mean, we're not seeing an insane amount of pixel jumps or percentage jumps. Now, when you slide away from the 4K, and this is just a brass setting, because a lot of these huge FPS gains are going to happen from just running certain titles. Like if you ran Godfell, you'll have an option. You'll run it, and it'll run smoother. Now, looking on past that, you can see that there is a jump in the 1080p when you look at DirectX 12. When you can see that the graphics score definitely slides up a 
good amount when it comes down to the scoring now percentage wise yes we're not beating it or we're not sliding anywhere forward but the cpu definitely comes down a little bit on the overhead and gives a lot more breathing room for those graphics to actually accelerate even in like an actual brass across the board time spy 3d mark test which is just kind of like well what can it compare to on the situations now with looking at the situation of how we see DirectX 11, it's almost again, you see some of the scores pull up, some of the scores pull down. Physics definitely gets a nice little like reduction. As you can see that CPU goes up a tiny bit and the GPU gets a tiny reduction. But again, these are because we are looking at certain titles that are getting these like direct boosts from the developer in order to actually utilize the technology that is out there and free for everyone, even a Nvidia. Now you see that the update flourishes with the 1080p department versus the 4K department because remember this fidelity is supposed to take normal pixels and make them more native looking like dlss where it's upscaling and it's utilizing not just some random network that's like off and just this is raw let's just utilize the pixels and upscale them from there it's great so i mean i i'm very excited to see where the future comes with this technology and what they've integrated inside of here for the fidelity supercharged resolution now looking at just the bare bone DirectX 11, you can kind of see where it gets a gain again. And a lot of this is like where you can see physics, it kind of fluctuates up and down sometimes, some being better, some being not. But when you look at the graphics score, that's where it can really can compete a little bit. Now percentage wise down below, yeah, we're not hitting like some home runs directly there. But again, if I was playing Godfill, I would probably hopefully be seeing at least twice the resolution and twice the frame rate and just getting a better experience for my gameplay. But again, I will turn to the gaming community to see what you guys and gals say you were experiencing, even though that these benchmarks can look nice and we've had a ton of time to digest what is happening. Now, one thing I wanted to point out before we get out of here is how clean the UI looks nowadays. As where it used to be back in the day, you come over here and yeah, this still looks really familiar to the 20 series, I guess if you can look compared to the 21 series. And you definitely have your hotkeys that they've made a little bit more accessible for getting around. But when you hit over here, what you're seeing a lot more for as far as the situations now personally myself i would suggest turning this off for as far as the issue detect unless you're having a lot of issues then turn it on try to detect those issues otherwise i found that that can be a little counterproductive sometimes it's not as um efficient as i would like to see from it but you can slide over here for as far as your graphic settings which i thought was really cool and you're gonna have a whole preset for as far as if you want the chill fps anti-lag boost for as far as enabling getting a little extra a little oomph inside of that for as far as not the fidelity but it's something that was prior it's like the predecessor technically to what they have been crafting for so long now you can utilize for as far as some image sharpening which has always been there for as far as what you can tune up inside of there but then you go over here and you have your display and then display has a little bit more mix up which is pretty cool you know for as far as the virtual super then you have the portion of gpu scaling when necessary and top of that, some scaling. Now the integer scaling is also really cool to make those pixels a little bit more smoother. So, I mean, this is something that's like way more like dialed in nowadays for as far as the hotkeys and getting around with these situations. Now, even over here, and for most people that override this, you will more familiarize yourself with the HTCP. If you're more streaming and turning it off and on or to do what I'm doing right here and showcasing what you guys and gals can see with the UI and scrolling across and with this brand new update is really like I feel like in myself this is kind of a home run but it's not perfect and I feel like they're gonna get there in time for AMD 
and you know for performance i don't think anyone really lost anything but i don't think anyone past the seven titles that was listed there gained anything really now if you're 1080p you probably gained a little bit which is kind of really cool and you gained a little bit more of a easier layout for to navigate i'll be doing a follow-up video to show everyone excited did to overclock and like learn how to do situationable like software improvements for their card and just basically knowing the environment of what you're going to have if you're in a hot environment cold environment and how to utilize those if you're near the network you can always like share and subscribe and get excited for that content for as far as what's going to be coming up for shortly followed in order to utilize this technology because there is some really cool crossfire indications that they had when i was looking around there i was like man this technology amd is rolling out is really they're just steamrolling stuff and utilizing old technology and keeping people happy with the whole complex of a fine wine technology so cheers amd keep up the good work i'm definitely excited to roll this across but i'm also excited to hear what my community has to say i know a lot of people might be crucial about it but i want to hear that leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i'll see you there